for some, of a life-changing experience. For Free the Children as an organization is a movement that has come to America. While it started in Canada, it is now coming across America. And Minnesota is the second state
Minnesota is the second state. Started in Seattle, Minnesota, there will be other states. But you will be able to say that we were number two. This has been a very interesting year. This year we started in August with the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. You just saw elements of my father's speech that he delivered in 1963. where he challenged our nation to become a more just and righteous nation. But he also understood that every generation has its calling. And what each of you must decide is what am I going to do in, a different, in a terms of not just a job, because we all perhaps must have jobs, but what are we going to do to make a difference in the world, to make our be a world better for all of God's children? You see, we have to figure out what it is and who we are. It starts basically with preparing ourselves. It just starts even as early as kindergarten or nursery school. It starts with saying, I am going to be a part of people that make a difference in my community, in my city, in my state, in my nation, and even in our world. My dad told us that in life we must decide what our calling is. And when we identify that calling, we must do our jobs well. We must do those jobs so well that the living, the dead, or the unborn could do those jobs no better. He went on to say that even in life, if it falls your lot to be a street sweeper, why go on and sweep streets like Michelangelo carved marble? Go on and sweep streets like Shakespeare wrote poetry. Go on and sweep streets like Beethoven composed music. Sweep streets like Raphael painted pictures. Sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth would have to pause and say, here lives a great street sweeper that did his job well. A great historian by the name of Douglas Mallet captured it another way by saying, if you cannot be a pine on the top of the hill, just be a shrub in the valley. But be the best little shrub on the side of the road. Be a bush if you cannot be a tree. If you cannot be a highway, just be a trail. If you cannot be the sun, just be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or you fail. You've just got to be the best of what you are. That's what our challenge is, being our best. And so I want to rush to tell you, young people, do not ever get any ways tired, because we truly have come much too far from where we started. You see, no one ever told any of us that our roads would be easy. But I am here to tell you that I know our God, our God, our God did not bring any of us this far to leave us.